Yes, Mr. Lowry. Carolyn? Lion still isn't in? No, Mr. Lowry, but then she's always a bit late on Monday mornings. Buzz me the minute she comes in. You call her sister. No one's answering at the house. I called her sister, Mr. Lowry, where she works. The music maker's music store, you know. And she doesn't know where Marion is any more than we do. You better run out to the house. She may be unable to answer the phone. Her sister's going to do that. She's as worried as we are. I haven't the faintest idea. As I said, I last saw your sister when she left this office on Friday. She said she didn't feel well and wanted to leave early. I said she could. That was the last I saw. Oh, wait a minute. I did see her sometime later driving. Uh, I think you'd better come over here to my office, quick. Carolyn, get Mr. Cassidy for me. After all, Cassidy, I told you, all that cash. I'm not taking the responsibility. For heaven's sake, a girl works for you for 10 years, you trust her. All right, yes, you better come over. Well, I ain't about to kiss off $40,000. I'll get it back, and if any of it's missing, I'll replace it with her fine, soft flesh. I'll track her, never you doubt it. Oh, hold on, Cassidy. I still can't believe it. It must be some kind of a mystery. I, I can't. You check with the bank, no? They never laid eyes on her, no? You still trusting? Hot creeper, she sat there while I dumped it out. Hardly even looked at it, planning and, and even flirting with me.